What's up, awesome YouTubers? Ryan1988 or Justin back here to do a video for you all. And I hope the lighting's okay. Uh, natural lighting from the window. I moved my desk area in the movie room, which has changed a bit. So I might uh, make a video at some point and show that off. Or I will make a video at some point and show it off. Um, but anyway, I am back to uh, make a video and talk about uh, Jaws 3 or 3D on 4K and then talk about three other 4Ks that I've wanted to talk about for a while but I figured it was probably too late to talk about them because they've been out since March but they kind of go with the topic of this video and, and the 4K transfer of Jaws 3. So I'll talk about those in a minute. Um, Jaws 3 on 4K. I've been seeing a lot of people um, react to this and talk about it. Majority of it in a negative way. And, you know, I'm not going to say that people's opinions are wrong. That's not what this video is. Everybody has their opinions. My video is just going to be opposite of, of a lot of reviews that I'm seeing. And... I'm here to tell you that I love the transfer. Now, is it top 20, top 10 favorite 4Ks of all time? Is it one of my favorite 4Ks of all time? No. But somebody who's loved this movie ever since I was a kid, I can tell you that this is the best the movie's ever looked. I remember seeing it on TV. I believe I watched it on VHS at one point. I have a VHS copy of it, um, seeing it on DVD, and then that terrible Blu-ray. That Blu-ray is pretty much unwatchable. This is the best Jaws or Jaws 3 has looked. And, you know, I had my minor gripes with it, but it isn't what a lot of people are talking about. Now, you know, if you don't know, um, AI was used um, when making this 4K, 4K transfer. And a lot of people are, are talking about the, the background characters, like the, you know, the extras that are like in the, I say far distance, um, like in the, there, you know, there's a, SeaWorld show that goes on and you see characters in the crowd and their faces are messed up. And, you know, it was AI that did that. Um, and that's been like a topic of a lot of people's videos. And they're saying it is the, I'm not, there's, it's being compared to one of the worst 4K transfers out there. And I don't think that's the case. I, I want to come on here and talk about why I think this is a movie that looks great on 4K. I want to talk about the bros. I want to talk about the cons because a lot of people seem to be bashing it and giving it criticism. And again, I'm not saying your opinion's wrong um, because everybody has their opinions, but I don't hear a lot of people talking about the pros with it. And it's really sad because, you know, you know, if somebody's going to watch a video and debate if they're going to pick this up or not, you know, I, I think we should, or I, you know, I, I, I want to see a video where um, pros are talked about. So my minor gripes with it, it's not the crowd stuff, because that is stuff that if you're really looking up close, like if you're, if you're like in front of your TV, yeah, I could see you probably noticing it. I was sitting in those seats last night watching it, and I I wouldn't say I was, like, far away from the TV, but I wasn't, like, up close. And so those scenes with the crowd, they go by in seconds. And for me, that's not as noticeable as some of my minor issues have to deal with, you know, two actors in a scene, and the background looks like it could be CGI. And that was the way that the movie was filmed. It's not how the transfer was converted over. 
that's just how the movie was filmed in 1982 or 83. So those are my minor issues with it. You know, I talked about the Blu-ray. The Blu-ray just is unwatchable. Some people might say this is unwatchable. The Blu-ray is unwatchable. That is a horrible Blu-ray. Um, I have a lot of pros with this 4K. You know, I have seen the Blu-ray several times. That was the way I was watching it before this came out, unfortunately. Um, and I remember the Blu-ray just having so much grain, especially nighttime shots. Like, it was just so bad. And... This 4K cleans up a lot of those scenes. There's an example, there's a scene in this that really stands out for me, and that is the scene where Leah Thompson and uh, Dennis Quaid's brother, they're at the, um, I think they're at the aquarium or somewhere, and they're swimming. And the Blu-ray transfer during that scene was so grainy. And I love grain in movie, but this was to the point where it was really bad. And the 4K cleaned it up. And it looked amazing. The opening credits looked amazing. Like, this, for me, is top-notch. Not everything is going to be perfect. Life isn't perfect. Not everything's going to be perfect. And... There are some amazing 4Ks out there that are much better than this. But I'm going to say that this is not the worst 4K ever. I've seen, you know, people, I've, I've seen thumbnails and I've seen people say that this is, or I've heard people say this is like one of the worst 4Ks ever or just a terrible 4K. And this isn't. Um, again, to each their own. And I'm not going to say that your opinion's wrong, but I want to come on here and, and talk about the pros and talk about why I think this is a great 4K. I think this is better than what we got on Blu-ray. This is better than what I remember seeing on TV. And I, and I love nostalgic stuff, so I'm not taking away from those memories because I love those memories I have. And I loved watching it on DVD. And, you know, I have just great memories watching this movie. Pretty much on every format. But I loved and I was very pleased with what we got on 4K. So, is it one of my favorite 4Ks in my collection? No. But is it a bad 4K? No. It is a great 4K transfer. And I have my minor issues. It's not the issues that other people have. Um, do I think that AI needed to be used? No. I think you could have either left those scenes alone or done something different, you know. But that's technology and people are going to use that. Um, and it just so happened that those scenes that a lot of people are talking about, yeah, they're, they're not great. I'm not here to tell you that they're great. But... When I was watching this, they were scenes that were just, you know, you saw them for a second and then they left. And I, again, was sitting back there and I, you know, I wasn't watching too close. You know, when I watch these, I obviously I love to look at, you know, the picture quality. I want to see the difference of it. But I also love just going back and revisiting these movies. So... For me, it's a twofer. It's it's me watching the quality of it, but also just really focusing on how much I love the movie, and I love Jaws 3, and I loved watching this on 4K, and I think it's a great 4K transfer. So, is it perfect? No. I have my minor flaws with it, but overall, I am very pleased with it, and um, I'm just happy to have all the movies on 4K now. I have Jaws The Revenge on 4K, and I still need to watch it, but, you know, I might review that at some point. But this is the one that a lot of people are talking about, and again, I'm not taking away people's opinions. You can never do that. And I'm not saying your opinion's wrong, but I, I, I don't see a lot of videos where people are talking about the, the, the positive 
side to this 4K transfer. They're only focusing on that negative side, which when you watch the movie, in my opinion, it's very minor compared to the whole movie. And again, if you've seen the Blu-ray transfer, it's an awful Blu-ray. I'm not a fan of the Blu-ray. Um, this is the best the movies looked. So anyway, Jaws 3, I, I just wanted to talk about it. I'm not even thinking, I'm not even making this a rant video. I just want to give you my review, you know, kind of a fresh review watching it last night and talk about my small issues with it, but also talk about the pros. So, you know, I'm not saying go out and buy it. If you want to go buy it, if you're a fan of it, like I am, if you want to wait for it to drop in price, pick it up because it is honestly the best the movies ever looked. But if you want to stay away from it, you could stay away from it too. I just wanted to give you my small cons and my pros with this because I think overall this is a great 4K. And the last thing I want to talk about, um, again, it kind of goes hand in hand with, you know, 4Ks and, and you know, I'm going to say controversy with, you know, 4K transfers. And that's what James Cameron did. And the controversy that people had with these. Um, again, not all of them are perfect, but I was... A, I, when I watched these back in March, and I've seen Aliens twice now on 4K, I watched it the other night. Um, I was a little bit, I was shocked that a lot of people were just, you know, crapping on these 4K transfers. And again, saying they're some of the worst 4Ks out there. They're unwatchable. And for me, you know, I'll talk about Aliens real quick. This has been out on Blu-ray before. The Blu-ray looks great. I love the Blu-ray transfer. I've watched it for years and years. I've watched it again on TV, DVD, VHS, Blu-ray, now on 4K. This looks great. This looks great. The picture quality is great. Honestly, you can watch the Blu-ray and the 4K and they both look great. So, but I loved it. I'm a James Cameron fan. I wanted to have them all on 4K, all his movies on 4K. I think they're, besides Piranha 2, I think they're all out on 4K now. Um, but Aliens, I also have the first Alien on 4K, so of course I wanted to upgrade this. And it's one of my favorite movies. Love the transfer. It's great. But the two that I really want to talk about are these movies. And the reason why I want to talk about these is the last time we had these on physical media was DVD. And the DVDs were terrible. I mean, they were great for the time. But they're terrible now. Like, that TV back there, when I had the DVDs, I was so excited to find the DVDs out and about. I came home. I popped them in, and literally, they were a small square box. And I stopped watching them, because they were horrible. They were unwatchable for me. So, now we have them out on not only 4K, but Blu-ray. And I heard nothing but people just giving them the harsh reviews. Mostly True Lies, but like people were saying like, the Abyss is a terrible 4K. The Abyss is amazing 4K. I'm here to tell you, The Abyss is the best it's ever looked. There's a little bit of color change there, but that has to do with, you know, the 4K transfer, which James Cameron, by the way, approved of these. And I know some people don't like what James Cameron has done with these. This looks amazing, and it sounds amazing, and you're getting a whole bunch of bonus features, plus both versions of the movie out on 4k and blu-ray so a lot of love went into these they weren't just slapping these on 4k and saying we're just gonna bring these in bring bring these things out no there was a lot of love put into these they put all the bonus features they put time into these and i just don't understand the hate for these because when I watch these, like Jaws 3, again, not a perfect 4K. 
it's got flaws. And I can understand that, and I can understand why people would have issues with AI being used. But, like, Aliens? Love it. The Abyss? Fantastic. I was blown away with it. This is one of my favorite movies, by the way, of all time. I love that movie. It's one of my favorite James Cameron movies. And then you got True Lies. And this is the one where a lot of people had issues with. And I could see small, minor issues with this. But again, 90% of this movie, 95% of this movie looks amazing and it sounds amazing and again we've never had this on even blu-ray and we're gonna get on blu-ray and 4k and again a lot of love went into this stuff because you got a brand new documentary on this film and it's like 40 minutes long and it's awesome and i loved it but the 4k transfer and the Blu-ray transfer look and sound awesome. And I love it. I love we have these movies. So for me, again, I'm going to just pull all these up. I'm here to tell you, from my perspective and my opinion alone, I love these 4K transfers. I do. Like, overall, I love them. I'm pleased with them. I am very happy with them. And it's it's been rare to come by, and I'm not saying I'm the only one that's talked praise about these, but it is rare to come by YouTube videos where people are praising these. They might have flaws with them. I certainly have flaws with, you know, Jaws 3, and I think, you know, there's couple of seconds where true lies could have looked better but i'm here to tell you that these aren't terrible 4ks like all four of these I i've seen a lot of videos where people or articles or reviews where people are just slamming these and i don't fully get it because I was going into a lot of these 4K transfers thinking I'm going to sit here and just have a miserable time watching these. And I overall love these transfers and I'm very pleased with them and I'm really happy with them. So anyway, uh, you know, I know the James Cameron 4Ks have been out for a long time. I really wasn't going to make a video about them. Because it's been a while since I've been out. But with Jaws 3 getting so much heat right now. And again, they could have they could have went a different route than using AI. But with that one getting so much heat. And, and you know, I'm not really seeing a lot of, you know, of the pros being talked about with that 4K transfer. I wanted to talk about it. And then, you know, talk about the James Cameron 4Ks because they got a lot of controversy when they came out. And I'm still hearing people say that they're terrible 4K transfers. And again, to each their own. But I want to I wanna come out and, and talk about why I love them. That might be the tagline for the video. Why I love these 4K transfers. So, anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you didn't think it was a rant. It's not a rant video because, again, I you know, people have their opinions and, you know, I'm not taking away your opinion and I'm not saying your opinion's wrong. I'm just saying for me, I loved them. And I want somebody to come across a video where if they're debating on buying these, I want to make a video and tell them, hey, these are the pros, these are the cons, but I'm, I'm really happy with them. And if you want to buy them, go out and pick them up or order them. So anyway, I'm sending all my love to you all. I hope you're all doing well. Um, as always, you all are awesome. You all rock. And, uh, and with the positive out with the negative.
So anyway, much love to you all. Um, I love these 4K transfers, and I will stand by that because I think they're great. Again, flaws. Definitely have some flaws in some of those 4Ks, but really happy with them. Anyway, I love you all. Every one of you, I love you all so much. So um, talk to you soon. All right.